You're listening to The Deranged Nation, a true crime podcast featuring New York Times best-selling paranormal romance author and your host, Teresa Gableman. Hey guys, welcome to Deranged Nation. We're now on episode nine, and this one is Lost, Soul, Lost and Sold, The Jane Doe's. And I say this every time, but this is a little different than what we normally do. But... <laughs> Oh well. Every show is different. Yeah, exactly. Still deranged. Exactly. Um, but I felt this one was, you know, really important because I think it. I didn't really realize how bad this, you know, uh, what it is. It's the uh, sex trafficking, and I didn't realize how how bad it is out there. <laughs> um, we live in Ohio, and. Our state is the fourth in all the states for human trafficking. Um, fourth, uh, like highest. Yes, yeah. yes. California is the is number one, which isn't surprising. Isn't really surprising because they do have a lot of runaways. Yeah. you know, and and everybody wants to be a movie star. Yeah. <laughs> well, then, when yeah. we were out in California, I mean, you know, our Uber drivers. I mean, most none of them had was born and raised there. All of them came there for different reasons. The American dream. Yeah. yeah. Right. Expecting it. So the the documentary that we watched, um, it, and I've seen it on Netflix, it's uh, I Am Jane Doe, and it's chroni- it chronicles the legal battle that several American mothers have been um, waging on behalf of their middle, middle school daughters. Let that sink in. Who were trafficked for commercial sex on Backpage.com? Um, the Classifieds advertising um, website was formerly owned by the Village Voice, and you you'll understand this a little bit more as we get into into the story. Um, it was actually a pretty well done, I feel, documentary. Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah. yeah. Um, the film was narrated by Jessica Chastain and directed by filmmaker Mary um, Mazio. I, I hope mm-hmm. I'm saying her name right. That's right. And um, 50% of the film's pro- which I thought this is pretty cool, 50% of the film's profits will go to nonprofit organizations which serve children affected by human trafficking. So I thought that was that's pretty cool. Yeah, because there's a lot of them. Oh, yeah. it's it's um well, I mean, I'll get into the um, you know, the numbers here, which blew me away. And, and for anyone who's wondering, Backpage dot com was like a website, like Craigslist, like Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace, or like literally like an online newspaper. Yeah. And the people that own this, which it was considered like the back page of the newspaper yeah ads you know what i mean like but online you know what i mean yeah advertise well you know the owners owned the, the village voice which was right. you know a real big name which i never heard of them until this documentary but i guess they were pretty well respected like news journal yeah, they started right. out more like an alternative <laughs> freedom of speech type Right. Yeah. They uh, tell you about the newspaper. They normally would be the people who would tell you about what Backpage was doing. Yeah. yeah. Well, honestly, they had been in the business of doing some some shady stuff like that because they had a lot of ads in the back of their newspapers for like dirty massage parlors yeah. and yeah. strip yeah. clubs and like personal yeah. stripper services. But those were legal businesses. No, I understand that, but I'm yeah. saying what we get into. That's probably how <laughs> yeah. it started. Yeah. Yeah. It was as easy as that. Right. <laughs> right. So the documentary um, I Am Jane Doe, it mainly follows a story, <clears throat> sorry, the story of uh, three middle school girls, which were not naming, um, and there's not really a lot, you know, for, for their protection because they are underage, but one of the girls was from Boston. She was 15 years old. Um, let's see, a 13-year-old girl, she was from St. Louis, and what well, there was three right they only have two here but there was three what one well, yeah, was, was two 14. jane does yeah there was two jane does and, and one of them was from seattle Washington, seattle I think. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. and that was a 15 year old so anyway i mean just the age yeah you know and they were all from across the country it wasn't right. like this was all in one city. yeah but this yeah. was yeah this is yeah exactly um but their their mothers 
And even the girls got involved because the one girl was like, you know what, I this will I do not want this to happen to anyone else. Yeah. And this girl was actually um she did run away from home and just got caught up. Yeah. And we'll, we'll get kind of get, you know, into more on how these girls and boys, there are the majority of it is is girls. Right. You yeah. know, that are but there are boys also. Um their suit is actually against backpage.com and the mo- one of the mothers actually seen her daughter on that a website, ad. yeah. An ad. An she ad. was an ad. ad to be sold. Can't you even imagine? Well, in fact, I think they all eventually the mothers did see their yeah. daughters on. Yeah, or someone ads. called them and was like, "Hey, yeah. I found her." She, or and actually, I think a detective. Um, a detective found one of them. Yeah. yeah. A detective, like he said, he would go through like eight hundred ads a day. Yeah. You know, and and I think a detective ended up finding her. Right. One of them, which it's hard to talk about who's who because yeah. the, the, you know none of them have names, but a lot of the stories are pretty much similar. Yeah. Right. The um. <clears throat> So it, mostly, what what this is about, it is a little bit about their stories, but most of it is about their legal battle, the mother's legal battles against um, Backpage dot com. Um, they had many attorneys, high high up attorneys that were involved in all of it. One of them was uh, Ropes and Gray, one of the oldest white shoe law firms in the country. Um, so they were well known. Also, senators got involved. The docu- the documentary all also follows um, the congressional actions against Backpage and online human trafficking. Uh, by Senators Rob Portman, John McCain, Claire McCaskill, and Heidi Heitkamp. Um, you know, it's it, it's really... Well, I think first we should probably discuss, you know, about the ads and why. Right. As far as why the ads were... Kept what was up. so wrong with what was this? So wrong with the ads and, and so how what, the whole what story with the ads? Human trafficking is a hundred... And fifty billion, not million, billion dollar industry. Yeah, I mean huge. that's huge. So, um, Backpage.com is an online marketplace site in the mold of Craigslist. They sell vehicles. They have trades. They do literally every state in America. You can look through at, like the list of it whenever it was still available, and you can pick and choose from all these different categories. Shoot, I think I put a business ad on there. Yeah, business for like ads. A bland, for landscaping. I yeah. mean, it used to be a fairly. I didn't know any of that was going on on there, but. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, in Craigslist, I mean Craigslist shuttered its um, own adult classified section in 2010 and since they had done that now Backpage had had the corner of that particular market commanding 80% of online commercial sex advertisement revenues in the US so they were making big bucks yeah so when lawsuits started coming in um, and and if you guys want to get into you know exactly you know what people could i mean you could get anything yeah on there they back page actually had how many moderators 500 they had five and you actually hear one of the moderators his voice is disguised yeah probably because he wants to save his own life yeah because he he's said he'd go on. over what 800 ads and in, in a day just he, him alone yeah and he would look for illegal wordings you know because these are basically prostitution ads is Basically, it's exactly what it was. Underage yeah, kids, disguised as an escort. Yeah, I mean, it was an online brothel, or you <coughs> yeah. know what I mean? Like they can choose. What you, you know, want. And I mean, these women could put their ads up themselves, or like some of the other ones. You know, they have a, a pimp or somebody coming along telling them they can make their life better and this and that, and then they get them hooked on drugs, and then you know, what I mean, like the one pimp was saying in that he was like that wasn't their money that was my money yeah they were making me my money they right. were working for me i mean it's almost yeah. like organized slavery too I mean, yeah it, it was, was. It was. you know and the and pimps said, would put the ads with my money yeah. yeah 
and you know you you know they would they, take pictures the pimps of would them. put the ads up you know what i mean they had terms for if the girls were underage like fresh off the boat amber alert um and the back page moderators actually worked and emailed alongside with these pimps and conspired with these pimps to be able to make their wording work and yeah and fix their ass so they could still do it because this sector of that website was was making them so much all money. All the money that they were making was probably from that. Right. And all every bit of it. Yeah. Well, what they say, a dollar an ad? Yeah. yeah. Was it? Well, no, it was more than that at first. But then the more trouble they started getting in and more kind of stuff started coming out. Yeah, because their profits they, they, kept they, going up. Yeah. Every case they'd yeah. win. Yeah, and it's like, you know, they were making millions and billions off of, you know. Yeah. Prostitution and And, and <laughs> children. And children. You know what I mean? Not alone that the children, but I mean, even just the side of prostitution. I mean, that's illegal too. I mean, and they were all they were doing was hiding behind um, the freedom, freedom of speech. Yeah, and the 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 CDA, the CDA, yeah, the Communications Two Thirty Act that was put in nineteen ninety six that you know protects any company on the internet from getting sued. By something that a third party does right. on, right. Their on their website. So basically, a which, Facebook which status, if you're a for website example, owner too, it, you could understand. It, it, that. Yeah, and there's but that. there's that. Like we have comments on her website and things like that. So if she yeah. was held responsible for somebody putting something right. up on her ad, I understand. You yeah. know, so it's yeah. it's it's, it, it's a thin line. Yeah, that they were skating it, over but it top. Would be different. Yeah. I'm selling books. Which, These, Guys were selling, selling children. children. Right. Yeah. And right. And I'm not defending it. At I, all. Yeah, I know, but it's hard for me too. I don't like yeah, I, I don't censorship. And for years, not at all. And for years this never got shut down. I mean, they would just find another loophole to reword it or get around it. And I mean what makes it the worst was they were, you know, working alongside like they, they never just stopped, like, oh hey, you know, this is this isn't helping anybody. Like, let's just shut it down. You know, they yeah. You know, they just like Trash. battled it. Well, yeah. and the lawyers were like banging their heads against the wall because these judges, they weren't up on the times. These were older judges the 50s, that probably 60s, never, yeah, they, you know, or used well, or used the website, website or, themselves. Or, yeah, yeah. back page. Or maybe exactly. they had because used the, back page. the pimp even said that some of his best customers were politicians, politicians, and priests. And priests. Mm-hmm. And and the people Lawyer, who work in the I office. Mean, which, I mean, that's taking the word of some piece of shit anyway, but well, I'm sure he, it wasn't he, a lot. Well, this guy was actually using I, what he had done to people. He And I'm not saying it because he kind of freaked me out. I know. This yeah, I don't know how him. I felt about that guy. But he is trying to use what he had done in his past to help advocate. 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 And as well, that was Backpage's other defense too. They're like they were just trying to save their public image, like you know, like they were trying to share with the internet. But they were, it, it's like they were helping out the the Center for Missing Children and all that. That was just a cover. It was a cover. Yeah, but it's like, hold, but if you think about it, like how is your website able to help out if you're involved in the business of selling children? Yeah. And why? And but you said, can help catch them. But you're the one. You're that, but involved. you're the one also helping them put it out there and do it. Yeah. Right. So how Listen, can you be the one to help catch them if you're the, the one also for, being the reason, the hub to, for them to do it? Yeah. Period. The Center for Missing and Exploited Children, though, they said <coughs> that they gave them like a criteria list of the things that they needed to change and do, and that they disregarded every single one of them and didn't right. do any of the things they said they were going to do. Right. And then that's when they pulled out their. Plea to plea to be beside. Yeah, them. they took out words and too. Like they t- they would take out words like teenage yep. or, um, you know, uh, when they typed in phone other, numbers, they other. would do like five and then type out one and then put a three yeah. and then type yeah. out because they mask it, they yeah. mask it, because so police, it couldn't be scanned, yeah. so they could keep making money. Yeah. And yeah. they told them how to do it. They gave them the criteria very to do it. Lucrative mm-hmm. business model. Well, and the thing of it is, if you're legit. And you're really not, this is not your focus of what you want your website, you know, or whatever, your publication. Well, those 500 people that you hired to yeah. sit there and shift through words, delete the shit. Yeah. Delete it. Well, I've deleted they said, stuff. One of the moderators said that he sent several things to 
the own like the owners of the company, the CEO and stuff, and he just said he just never did anything. He just kept pushing. Well, it he back. said well, too. The there was there was sometime there yeah. was a window where an ad could be live for. Several Three hours, hours before, it was, before it was even caught by a monitor. And that could be 10, the, 20 people to see you know, a so, child. Yeah, so, I mean, in that yeah. 30 minutes to three hours, I mean, that kid could already even been bought and sold. And, and too, by the way, when we say bought and sold, we're, we're not talking so much as, like, they're bought and taken away forever. Like, they're bought by, like, the 15-minute periods and 30-minute periods. Yeah, the yeah. one... Hour period. The one girl For that I got... For sexual slavery. The yeah. one... Acts. The one girl, and then I got some stories. I mean, it was a revolving door, yeah. they, would, they said. You know, the one girl said it was nothing... Like every fifteen minutes, it was somebody else. It was somebody else. It was some. I I just it breaks my heart. Yeah, you dude. know with these that would take a piece of your soul away. And you know, getting into so the and tr- how did they get some of these children? So you know, that a lot of times, and I mm-hmm. when I was reading a bunch of the stories, I picked I think two out that really kind of said it all. Um, every story mm-hmm. that I read said that they were on backpage.com of course every one of them and these this is from different sources yeah not from the i am jane doe right this is from different sources that i read on accounts of survivors because there there's many that don't come home yeah Yeah. you know there's many that are still out there um but what i have read and actually what the the pimp had said he looked for yeah is anybody um who was weak yeah I you know if they would i mean they would be at mcdonald's burger king the mall the mall um grocery store you know just everywhere they looked for the girls who didn't make eye contact and were yeah. down yeah um they also looked you know um online like gaming uh that was a big thing they would get start conversations with these kids you know and the one guy was saying i kept asking you know what's wrong what's wrong you okay you okay finally the girl said you know of course every teenage girl is going to have a problem with their parents at some point yeah Yeah. and they play on that yeah oh i can i can make everything better for you yeah right and a 15 you know 13 15 year old is going to be like oh this this guy he's older he thinks i'm wonderful yeah yeah i'll meet you and then it's all over um they also <clears throat> they also look for addicts um anybody that don't have their shit together yeah more mm-hmm. or less right um or not with their parents <laughs> yeah well, well yeah i mean but that's not to say that everybody's safe either because i've also heard that um you know people have been pulled into vans yeah mm-hmm. cars oh yeah you know, so if Abduction. they want you, they're going to try it. There's a lot of weird shit that goes on yeah. around here. Yeah. That there's stories about on our local pages on Facebook and stuff that people tell people about. Yeah, they're yeah. like, be careful. People being followed and everything else. I've been followed in stores before, yeah. you know. Well, and like, you know, we all go to Walmart. That's a big spot. Do you ever look at that big board with all those kids' pictures yeah, on I that know. board? And you think, where is all these kids? Like, Yeah, I know. You know. Yeah, exactly. How come all these kids are missing and every Walmart's different? They don't have all the same kids no. up there. No. You know, it's crazy. And that's not even a fraction of what's really out there. No. That's just exactly. one board. Right. And that's where a lot of these kids end up, unfortunately, is, you know, it's scary. forced into this. Yeah. Whether industry. it's here or over, who, who knows, they could even be getting smuggled overseas. They out, are some out of, of the them. country. Oh, yeah. I'm sure some of them are. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm sure we're going to be hearing a lot about that. Yeah. So we, as I said, we live in Ohio, so we are fourth as of 2019. I didn't see any, I couldn't find anything for 2020, but we're only in March. Right. Um, and if you want to see what state you are in, um, you know, just all I did was, you know, type it in Google and it's got, I could look at any state. Yeah. So you can find out, you know, and it, I, it's good to know, especially if you have... You and know? it's in every state. It's in every state. It, yeah. No state mm-hmm. is. Backpage was in every. It was, in, it was over it the was world. In different it, was a, it was they over the world. It was they global. expanded. Once it they was expanded. in other countries. Yeah. yeah. And let me say again, a one, 150 
billion dollar industry. Yeah. It's huge. And you'll see as like <laughs> they won more cases, they they made more money. Yeah. Because they knew they could get away with more. Yeah. And more. Well, and each that, year their graph that we when we were watching yeah, it, on it, it definitely it went rose up. a lot. Well, and then yeah. they passed a law that was going to make them make their uh, posters do an age verification with yeah. with an ID or, or I don't know exactly how they're going to do that, but they're do some kind of age verification and Backpage shut it down. Yeah, they got the bill shut down. Yeah. yeah, they fought it and got it shut down and got the bill threw out. I mean, that almost tells you right there. I mean, what they're doing, yeah. they know what they're doing. That's a sad and if you look up it. these three people uh, that own it, there's some scummy, slimy looking fuckers. What too. was one of them, Michael Lassie? Uh, what was uh, Larcy. Um, I, Jim Larkin, uh, Larkin, Michael Lacey, and David Larkin Ferrara. and Lacey. I am like dyslexic or something. <laughs> Who was the guy that didn't come to the that Congress? Was the David Ferrara. David yeah. Ferrara. Yeah. Ferrara. Well, he didn't show up the for the CEO. Congr- he didn't show up for the congressional hearing yeah. at the Senate. Well, he was subpoenaed and he didn't show up, but you know, still. Well, they all ended up showing up later in the documentary, yeah, and but, including they all said. But McCain was fifth. like, it's been 20 years since someone hasn't showed up. They didn't even know what the <laughs> fuck to do with themselves at that time. They were like, oh, what do we do? Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, we, we blame it on our government in a way. Well, and because they could have changed these laws. Yeah. Early. Well, listen to this. Because this, this, will, cause this blew my mind. So the reason why Ohio is fourth is because... If you look at Ohio, the laws basically are weak throughout. Um, According to the organization, um, latest research, only 13 states are worse than Ohio when it comes to addressing sex trafficking. Um, Smith, and this is something that I pulled off the internet. Um, I didn't write down what it was, but I'll find out and I'll put it on the on the on the on the page. page. Yeah. I lost my place. Oh, here it is. Um, only 13 states are worse than Ohio when it comes to addressing s- sex trafficking. Ohio is the only state that requires force, fraud, or coercion to proven to be proven for sex trafficking victims who are 16 or 17 years old. Wow. It's, oh. That's bullshit. In every other state in the country. And that's found, why it's going on here the most. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's easy pickings. You know what I'm saying? It, they take feel, a lot to get arrested. Yeah, yeah. For exactly. Um, a child under 18 in every other state in the country, a child under the, 18, under the age of 18 is automatically considered a victim of human trafficking. But in Ohio, you got to prove it. Right. It's not, it makes no sense. It's not hot enough out here for a pimp. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah. The Ohio State Senate recently passed a bill that would um, change that law. The bill is before the Ohio State House now. But you know how that goes and how long that can take. Uh, that was as of today? Uh, that was, no, or? that was of 2019. Okay. And Ohio is graded C. So they grade mm. states also. What was also. the number one state? California? California. What was two and three? Um, Chicago, Michigan. Michigan doesn't surprise me. I would say which is Chicago. not far from us in Chicago. Michigan I would guess. probably is right. That's by Illinois. Canada. Yeah, yeah. Right up now in the country. It's probably in big cities like New York, Chicago. Well, I think um, another reason why Washington. Ohio is bad is because we're in the center, and maybe like once they get somebody out of Ohio, then no one's gonna recognize you. Yeah, you know what I mean. But I guess that goes or get for any them state. to Ohio, you mean? Huh? Or get them to Ohio? No, get them out. Like if they're taking them to be sold somewhere else? I don't know. So, well, I mean, it's probably because of the laws, right. too. That's pretty fucked. Yeah, I'd say that's got a lot to do with it. Well, and the other thing that they say, too, that plays into it, um, age 13 is the average age. Yeah. Oh, God. That is the, the, ever, you know, the average age of the trafficking. Um, and that just that you know makes you think. Yeah, on man. that. And the other thing that they go for is um, immigrants. Um, somebody that's not really going to be missed. Yeah, they they look for people that's nobody's going to really raise a fuss, which falls back into what you know the other stories that we've done. Yeah, you know. 
sometimes, you know, somebody Those abduction who are normally unnoticed, or anything. Unnoticed. Yeah. So the government um, doesn't have any information on, especially. And I, the reason that I felt like I said this is different than than what we've done. There's not, you know, it's not really a murder case. But Although I think a lot it's of important. girls have died. Yeah. yeah, a lot of girls have died. Well, I'm and sure drug a lot addiction, and for sure. drug addiction. Yeah, I'm sure a lot more. This is OD kind of probably even. something that caused part of the opi- uh, opiate epidemic. For well, real. and that I'm sure that's how the it's pimp. A big, that well, was one way the pimp they could, could keep them there. Every yeah, every so they could keep them there. Every looked. story I read. Well, the one girl she kept running away, and, and her mom was like, "Why do you keep running away?" And she's like, "Because I got to take these pills. I'm gonna get sick." Yeah, and yeah. she was fucking like 15. Yeah, yeah. Well, and she never <laughs> and getting dope sick from yeah. fucking opiates and that's what they do that's how they control yeah uh, one of the well i'll get into the stories later but um the pimps play and and you got to think about this too it, this is like the new age right prostitution yeah. you know you it's pick what not you want like, online literally yeah and it just makes me sick you know and a lot of it's like a catalog i think people hear catalog. sex trade but the, you know sex trafficking isn't the only thing out there there's organ yeah trafficking which is scary yeah um but there's big money in that too i didn't look at the figures but i bet she is close to that right um and there's labor trafficking also i didn't pull it up but i did read about a um a boy that was um taken and put to work in terrible conditions and when he refused to do it and wanted to leave that's when he started getting sexually abused and that's when they said okay well we're just going to have you labor and sex oh my god so yeah so there's i there's some evil ass people i know man there's really some well and i think most people think that they're not the people you really would expect sometimes either yeah yeah, that, yeah, that's well, the biggest yeah. mindset I believe. Is At thirteen that years old, say, oh, it wouldn't happen to my daughter. Well, yeah. I mean, not not only do you think about the, the document and stuff, but think about, I mean, the internet in general is such a dangerous place because you can anonymous in it, uh, not <laughs> anonymously, <laughs> you know, put yourself out there and and entrap people you know what i mean yeah. like you can you know you've seen it on you know when craigslist first came around people getting murdered showing up to buy a yeah. couch you know what i mean but really they got fucking yeah. shot you know what i mean but they thought they were just going there to buy dude's couch you know what i mean so it, yeah it, it, it's all yeah, a dangerous place shit. Yeah, we might have to do some Craigslist stories. Cause some Craigslist some, killers. There's some fucking oh, cracked yeah. up ones out there. I know. On but I, it, it, but yeah. it was the same. I mean, mm-hmm. his back page, they had the... the well, they're yeah. doing that Snapchat shit nowadays. Snapchat premium. Well, and it's like the, fa- you know, it's like the fact that you, you know, you don't see it doesn't mean it's not happening. Yeah. And <coughs> exactly. Hon- and honestly, you know, and... There's been a few things that I've seen, I you know, that we haven't done anything on, but that I've kind of watched. And there's a lot of, like, documentaries and stuff about these issues. Yeah. And, you know, at 13 years old, even though that's been many friggin' years ago for me, <laughs> at 13 years old, I, I'll walk up to the pizza place. I, I'm old enough. I can do yeah. that. Yeah. At that time... I never thought about it. You know what I mean? Like you didn't have to worry about it back then. Yeah, but it probably was going on back then. You know? I mean, I even hitchhiked. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, that scares me to death to even think that me and... I shouldn't say her name. (laughs) I almost said her name. I better not say her name. You um, and your friend. Me and my friend hitchhiked. And it was a very stupid and scary (laughs) thing. And when we do things like this, I think, God, we were lucky. We were, even back then. Luckily, luckily I picked you up. No, you didn't <laughs> pick me up. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> you had me thinking for That's a while. That's how I found her hitchhiking. You did not. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> you had, I did. I had to think about that for a minute. I'm like, man, maybe you didn't. No, he no, didn't. he didn't. No, it was actually some weird creeper dude that kept looking at my friend, and I was in the back seat, and I was like, "We're good. Let us <laughs> out." 
But yeah, that right. it was really stupid. It was really a dumb move that we made. But you know, doing this and thinking about the things that we have done—it's easy to happen to anyone. It, yeah, and at thir- you know, well, we weren't thirteen. We weren't much driving older either. either. Yeah, we were probably fourteen. Yeah. Because yeah, I my grandma used 15, to tell me stories about doing dumb shit key. like that. I get, you know, I I guess the reason I I'm going to look further into it to see if there's anything that I can do to contribute to helping, you know, some of the survivors donate something. Yeah. You know, because it's it, you know, you want to plant a seed, start the conversation, and make it an ongoing conversation, so. People are more aware of this stuff. You know, I think it's important that we know what's going on. And if we see something odd, you know, and not be in our end little world, if if we see... Another thing is, you know, I'm not a big gamer. You guys are. You know how yeah. many kids are on there. I mean, You've yeah. Actually... Well, I mean, she, she gets weird messages from dudes just because her... Yeah character is a girl on most of the games she plays. I yeah. mean, I will be sitting there, I'd say probably two, three times a week, you get a hey, cutie, least, or like, hey, seriously. girl, or you know, all kinds of trying weird to, stuff. Trying to hook up, yeah. do, yeah. do a heist. You don't know. And, and they don't know how old she is. Right. You know what I mean? They don't know her age on PlayStation. But they know that she's a girl. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That's all they know. They just see her girl's character. You know, and then, I mean, she does. She gets quite a bit of messages on there of, you I know do. just and it's usually nothing bad right off the bat but it's usually just, just like a, a hey door. and a smiley face yeah. or hey and some exclamation mark you know what i mean and dude just, when i was a kid and i played on uh xbox 360 like off my brother's account and stuff people would get on there and be weird mm. when i was young and i would mute my mic and just listen to him say weird stuff i mean it happened all the time well and the big myth you know is that we should really understand is, and this is kind of from what we say about white vans. Yeah. But I always you know, spot them too, dude. Yeah. But they said anymore, that's <laughs> kind of old school because now it's, you know, is fan sometimes it's like family, a family friend, you know, this person that gets you involved or, um, just online, yeah. You know, and they try to gain your trust. Right. And then by the time they flip the script, the victim already feels indebted to them. You know, they have that emotional connection with this right. person. And they're probably already on drugs. Yeah. And, yeah, I mean, Stuck. it's just... And they're young. They don't know what they're... You know? Yeah. I don't know, man. It's just crazy. But I do have a story... Um, of a girl, Sarah, that's not her real name, but... Jane Doe. Yeah. We'll call, them all we'll, Jane we'll call Doe. her Sarah. Um, she left her job at a local fast food restaurant with someone she thought was a friend. A woman her boyfriend had introduced her to a few weeks before. Um, Sarah's boyfriend seemed to have money, but no job. No matter... So, that's a red flag right there. Um, he... But... He Money treated, and no job. Yeah. <laughs> he treated her better than any other boyfriend she had had before. She fell for him quickly. What Sarah didn't know was that her boyfriend worked for the human trafficker, spotting girls he could manipulate quickly and bring her to the trafficker. He had already sold Sarah to he had already sold Sarah to him, to the trafficker. Oh boy. When Sarah got in the car with a new friend, she didn't realize that she was crossing the threshold into slavery, participating in her own abduction. She was taken to the trafficker's house where she was repeatedly raped and beaten in the process that human traffickers called seasoning. Wow. So they're getting her ready, you know, for what is about to, to come. Um, she was force fed narcotics in quantities to ensure fast addiction. She was kept in a doll crate when she was not being sold for sex over the internet. Which was was this? This was in the states. Or? Yes, this is in the wow. states. Um, oh, so the documentary didn't go and have anything this, like yeah, that. This in is it. totally wow. not, a different story. This yeah, is, no, I know. I'm just yeah. saying, like that's that's a big that's a that's a lot big, big left turn. Yeah. 
Um, Sarah was living uh, one of the most brutal lives imaginable, and law enforcement had no idea she was missing or that her trafficker even ex existed. Um, after a little more than a month, Sarah managed to escape and ran to the police. She told them her story, and they called Deliver Fund for help, which I read that Deliver Fund is really big with the trafficking, and they help a lot of the survivors. Nice. Um Within hours, we located her trafficker along with the other woman he was holding. Days later, the local SWAT team raided his house, freeing all the girls he had enslaved, bringing the trafficker to justice. So that was a good story. Yeah. Um, that's interesting. I bet she's fucking... But every story I read was the Torah. same. Can you even imagine? No. <laughs> no. I mean... I um, Mentally. one of the stories that I read, the, the pimp tattooed her, Ugh. he tattooed all his girls. What with a, like a certain marking, I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. Um, what else? I mean, it, there, there's so many similarities though. The yeah. drugs was the big one. One girl said that she within, I mean, she lost count how many times that she was raped in one day and she was 14 years old. You know, it's, uh, but the, from, and I couldn't find for 2020, but, um, this is from, um, Polaris, uh, website, the uh, National Human Trafficking Hotline. Survivors identified as 23,000. Human trafficking cases, 10,000. Potential traffickers, 5,000, closer to 6,000. Suspicious businesses, two thousand. Um, and like I said, there's there's sex trafficking, there's labor trafficking, but then they're together, sex and labor trafficking. And it's just if you go to this website, and we'll put this on um, the page too, you can see all the statistics. That's hard statistics. to say. Me and Cody's having a hard time tonight, <laughs> man. Statistics. What is the beef? <laughs> it's not where is the beef. What is the beef? Um, yeah. So, I don't know, guys. But the female demographics is like 15,000. Male is 2,000. Closer to 3,000. Um, unknown is 5,000. I mean, the numbers are just staggering. when you, And that's... 2018. Right. It's 2020. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. But. Good, good, good news. Good news. So, I think that documentary we watched timeline wise stopped right around October of 2016, was the last thing it really talked about. And I think Backpage had won again. Yeah. And nothing Everything had happened. Everything that came their way was dismissed. Yeah. They got it dismissed under that act every time. Yeah, the CDA 230 Act, which basically protected the human traffickers. I mean, it, it, it protected the websites for being a hub for people like that to operate under. Yeah, it's... Uh... I just keep looking at the stories. I got more and more stories, and it's just, you know, I don't know, guys. It's, yeah, there's a lot of a lot of them out there. Yeah, I have the uh, sealed indictment too. But yeah, so Backpage was finally shut down in March of 2018. Yes, it was March 28th of 2018. And shut down and seized by Department well, first, of Homeland Security. Yeah, it was the United States District Court. For the District of Arizona. No, but uh, I remember in the documentary there was scenes of the Senate sitting, or not the Senate, but Congress sitting around. And it was with all of them sitting together, and they refused to talk because they had already previously shut down uh, the whole sex trafficking part of the Yeah, they page. shut down their adult they shut that down for they, they disguised two it as a personal it, ad. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. After yeah. he didn't show up in the first place. And then they right. shut it down. For like a couple days, and then I think yeah. it was right back up. They said it was just a stunt. Yeah, yeah. it was. It was a publicity yeah. stunt. Yeah. Yeah. 
I mean, it was so obvious they were hiding behind. Um, see, uh, the CDA we'll put up pictures of the sealed indictment too, because it's a lot. But it was Michael Lacey, James Larkin, Scott Spear, John Jed Brunts, Dave Heyer, Andrew Padilla, and Joy Vaught. Was Joy Vaught the one who was the one speaking all the time? No. With the short hair? Who was no. that? That was Liz McDougal. Oh, she was their lawyer. Okay. Liz McDougal. And she she needs really to be just, smacked. Oh, she God. really just got... Yeah, I definitely wanted to talk about her got, for a second, too. She got paid very well to be a really shitty well, person. I don't, a spokesman, basically, and a face for Backpage. Yeah. Since she was a woman and everything else. Well, they always else. hid behind how they did help, like, one time. You yeah. know, they were like... It, uh, when they helped the national... Uh, place for missing children Exploited and stuff and like missing they, children. you know they, they really harped on that you know it's like your your buddy does your breaks like yeah. one time and they're like hey man remember that time i did your breaks like <laughs> it's like yeah three years ago like yeah man but i did them remember yeah well this so, every every no, time you no, you can't have my truck well and the thing is, is <laughs> yeah, like, not even dumb shit. and we talked about backpage being owned by the village voice but the village voice eventually sold off yeah back, and then they, they moved it to a foreign country what and country was that the owners Dutch. of back uh, the owners of it the village voice were still they went, went, with the, went with backpage yeah where the so, money was yeah the money exactly was. they had everything to do with and the money. then didn't they move it to sweden yeah, it was a, or yeah. Denmark, was it Amsterdam, Amsterdam, right yeah. after, right before yeah. the uh, right when it started. But what's his name? Bad. Who was the CEO? Uh, Dave Ferrara, Ferrara. Oh, he's not on the indictment. He's here. a well. He's, he's already. I think he's already. He's already indicted. Oh, okay. I think he's already. Well, well. Remember what they said at the end of the documentary. They said the only way we're gonna do this is if we just start flooding them with cases. Right. And yeah. I think they just started. I mean, just. Everybody just started going after. I mean, every so lawyer yeah. that because so many people got so close, yeah, they, they were like, we just got together. a rally behind this, and then they just got hundreds of lawyers and cases together against yeah. them. And I'm pretty sure they're they're pretty much. Well, it's they, still not over. It's still going on. Um, yeah, the indictments are still sealed. So, which actually they're, just now uh, or this year, um, they did sign. An executive order. Uh, they engaged in other financial transactions designed to conceal their misconduct to evade seizures by law enforcement. Um, <coughs> yeah, so they what they were, they knew what they were doing was wrong. Yeah, sixteen point oh. five million dollars in back ta- back page deprived cash was wired from Lacey's bank accounts to the United States to an overseas account in Hungary. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, shocker. So really, we don't know if five hundred million is all they made. They probably made beyond that. Oh no, I, I have. No, I mean, I said one hundred and fifty billion. I keep saying that number because to me, it's like no. I mean, there's a lot of people out there that would turn in their mom for that type of money. You know what I mean? Yeah. So what are they going to? The thing that killed me is when that lawyer was up there trying to defend Backpage. The only thing I, and the stupid things that she would say, I just kept thinking, you're standing there, and right now, at this moment, there are men. Yeah, I know. On back page. What if it was your kid? Exactly. And they're on there right now, and they're getting these kids. There was a federal judge, a very respected federal judge, who was like, you don't think that older men like to be in the company of younger women and he was just like basically shut up oh yeah and he was Dude, like I, and he was like is phone sex vulgar no. oh yeah is phone sex violent that burned me up didn't I even wanted... like look at what really was going well, on well if it's on a fucking 13 year old kid it is yeah yeah it's, <laughs> uh, it, you know once you really start getting into it and like the research that I did today and the more and more I went into it um, I will say kind of what got me on this a little bit was I watched a documentary, um, the trials of Gabriel Fernandez. And if you have ever seen that, it's a six part series on Netflix. It it broke me. Yeah, it absolutely 100 percent broke me. And even now I feel myself getting emotional. Um, 
But, it, you know, it's the same feeling when I started watching this show. It's just these kids, they're so vulnerable. I mean, my God. And it's just like this little Gabriel, you know, what he went through. Yeah. And I don't know. I, when I told, you know, Ron about it, he's like, well, what are we going to do? And I was like, I cannot do a podcast on this right now yeah I, it's just too raw yeah <laughs> you know so, and they just got sentenced too so yeah it's uh if you haven't seen it um it's a, it's very hard to watch it's really a hard one to watch but i watched it all the way through um i've never felt rage the way i felt yeah. watching it i yelled at the tv cursed at the tv scared the dogs <laughs> but um you know, and then when I seen this, I just started, you know, thinking that these, nobody, you know, somebody has to fight for these. And it's not just the kids. I mean, there's there's adults, too, that are going through this. So. Yeah. 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 Listen to this one. The ad was, one of the ads uh, that's in the indictment, the title was, New, 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 Put Me in Your Favorite Position. And the poster had attempted to include two photographs that violated Backpage's posting rules. The guy sent it to the the moderator, sent it out for it to be looked at or whatever, and the email received by Padilla did not criticize the moderators for allowing an obvious... He allowed it. He let it go through. And didn't say nothing. Hmm. There's so, a lot of shit on here that is interesting. We can post most of it, too. Well, and the, and the thing of it is, I mean, they, they did 500... They have 500 people, you know moderating you know they could have easily deleted so oh, yeah. if they really cared about it then delete that it shit it said that they deliberately the went through these ads that, that, and posted them knowingly across the but at the, 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 but at the same time deleting it is illegal that part was illegal too because you're you're when you're changing and it's deleting certain speech. terms to make sure that these ads still go on there I mean, you're almost literally but, coaching and helping the pimp sell these kids on your website. I know. So they don't. So you both don't get busted. I know, but I, what I'm saying is, is would it been? Why couldn't they have deleted the whole? I mean, why so much it was money? money because then I, well, it was no, no, they wouldn't have the got their die. They wouldn't have got their money no, for their that, ad. Yeah. I know that. But if they do that to five thousand ads and ten thousand ads, why didn't anybody ask them? Uh, you know, the Congress people or whatever, the the senators or whatever. Well, they I were. think you they know, were going to whenever they were coming in that day, and well, they had already fucking shut it down for plebis- publicity. Well, yeah, that's so it was too late. That. Yeah. I mean, the moderators. We're just as guilty. Oh, every yeah. one they of knew them. Every, that's why he they knew what was going on. Why face. would you still work there if you know you're gonna? Unless you don't care. How can you, you know? freaking sleep at night, man? I know. It's a job. It's all about money. Yeah. That's well, I've had a lot of jobs. That's why it's in the right? industry. And Never I've had some like shitty that. ass jobs that I will do over again rather than do something like that. You couldn't pay that's me. That's why it's a hundred and fifty billion dollar industry. Well, you know what? It's all about my mm-hmm. money. It's getting, Some uh, people don't care, dude. Yeah, and, and that just how blows do you my stop mind. it? You got to stop it from the top. Yeah. yeah, from the top down. Yeah, it's the only way. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. In the nitty gritty, though, they did get shut down. Yeah, yeah. But there is yeah. no back page. If you if you but, try to go to the website, it's completely seized by the Department of Justice. But they've the you know the sad part about it is even though. I mean, that's there's a another win. one out there. I'm sure that's a win. Oh, but there's other. But outlets. there's something yeah. that replaces it. There's another it. way. It's popping up. That's too much money for him to let it. Yeah. <coughs> to let it go. So the only thing you can do is try to contain it. Right. You know, which, which you know, if, if, if you guys watch the news, I mean, things are being taken in steps. I mean, a lot of people are seeing a lot of pedophiles getting arrested. A lot of people. Yeah. Getting yep. busted. A lot of. You know, a lot of that going a lot on. Of people Child resigning. porn. Yeah. Um, I, on January 31st of this year, um, the White House signed an executive order on combating human trafficking and online child exploitation in the United States, which you guys can go on the whitehouse.gov and, and read all that. It 
Yeah. And it doesn't matter whether you hate this president or whether you like this president. Exactly. This yeah. is not a political thing. Yeah. It's not a right or left thing. I mean, this this, this is about. We should children. all be this equal is a human this. thing. Yeah. This is a human rights thing, and and you know, and right. I, I think that, and finally and something's happening. That. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, something exactly. did not happen. I mean, they started trying to sue Backpage in 2010. Yeah, dude. Is when it started. The lawsuit started to first yeah. come out, and I mean, it's taken all the way until 2018, and now to for stuff to really finally start happening with it yeah you yeah. know and a lot of lives were affected in between that time yeah absolutely yeah and, and I, I feel like there was the same amount of evidence on the table from day one as there is now yeah, yeah. so right. what was the issue of why wasn't it shut down then yeah what exactly you know what i mean why and, did it take so long there, yeah, the evidence is not much different Congress it didn't change their the ways. lawmakers yeah why didn't they change the laws they yeah. had to see it yeah you know well that's why they couldn't and win like in I court because that one law you know? It's not a right or left thing. It's a human thing. That law, you know, and like I said, I'm I'm big for, you know, right. Of course, expression but, on the internet. Yeah, I'm and anything, books, anything. But come on, you but, think people are that stupid? <laughs> like we don't understand what's going on. That's not really expression when it's obvious what the fuck you're doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Not, it's not free. And when children speech, are involved, it's utilizing that, that are not doing it by choice. Yeah. Right. You know, being, yeah, well, even being adults, forced. You, anybody that's, that's abuse in the Constitution, it's <laughs> it's abuse of human right. Man. Yeah, it's I don't know. I just like I said, if, use your common sense on it, dude. It's not something that's okay to right. do. <laughs> I mean, really, that's how it should be played out. But you know, I do. I feel like I'm going to do. You know, it's a tiny, tiny bit. But after watching, you know, the one, um episode you know the the one documentary about gabriel and then you know watching this i just feel that i want to do my part i'm not asking anybody to do it but if you you go on there and see that there's something little that you can do it could put a little bit of a dent in something you know even just being aware yeah um i've actually heard of things where you know somebody saw a girl in the car looking you know mouthing help yeah you know, be more aware of your surroundings. What's going on? We should be nowadays anyway, but yeah. we're oh, all involved in our own life. You know, and I, I'm more than anybody with the training that we've had with, you know, Taekwondo and s women's self defense. Yeah. And I like I I feel myself going on with my own life and right and not paying attention. And to find out that Ohio is fourth, you know, from the top from number one. Yeah. That's pretty friggin' scary. Yeah. Yeah, and let 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 someone know where you're going too. Yeah. Especially if you're going to meet someone you don't know or yeah. you know what I mean? That's another thing. A lot of people don't even know that they were, you know, then going mm -hmm. to meet someone on Craigslist or going to buy a couch or yeah. you know Never what I mean? Alone. Like yeah, just always kinda let somebody know where you're gonna be. I mean, as annoying as it might be to some people. Well I mean, and even with you that's know the number one thing that can save you is Someone, knowing. someone knowing where your last whereabouts were. I will say, you know, even though you're you you're a dude, but you know, when you were young, you were pretty good. I know there was a few fails. <laughs> I'd have whooped that ass. But you know, <laughs> you were pretty good at telling us where you were at. Yeah. And keeping in contact. So you know what I'm think. saying? I know. I said <laughs> there was a few times. I still that, came home though. <laughs> yeah, but oh god. He said I'd have gave him the one two. Fuck you. Pop pop. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's pretty scary though, man. Being an, uh, a parent nowadays with everything going on. But yeah. anyway, well, that's our episode for. Does anybody have anything else to add? No, no I don't think, think so. so. Like, subscribe, so. share, comment. Yep. Find us on Facebook, YouTube. Damn, don't be our next but episode. What is it? What is our sprout called? Durand. Or no, what bud sprout? Bud sprout. Bud sprout. Bud. Did you bud say bug? I said bud. She said bud sprout. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like it. I like it. But um, but yeah. And sorry, we have run a little later on these, but we've it's been a busy week. It, it's yeah. been a little crazy. Busy month. But we don't have the coronavirus. No, everybody stay safe, man. You yeah. know, just be Wash smart. Your Wash your hands and be smart. <laughs> Had to mention that. Wash your hands and watch your watch your <laughs> older your people. Ass. <laughs> Wipe your ass <laughs> and don't hoard don't, the don't buy all the paper. damn toilet paper. <laughs> Why does everybody buy toilet paper? Oh, oh God! Buy milk and bread. 
Oh, it's not going to snow. And water. <laughs> oh, is that what you do when it snows? Yeah, milk, bread, and water when it snows. Well, pretty soon we might have to have some milk and bread and water anyway. Yeah. Oh, not me. Yeah, you can't <laughs> have. I don't have no milk. You can't have milk. Deranged nation, nation, nation. You've been listening to the Deranged Nation podcast. Join us every Wednesday night for a new episode as we bring you true crime, unsolved mysteries, and other deranged stories. This episode was sponsored by Braps MX and ATV Pro Shop. Visit them at brapsmx.pro. Also, visit our host, TeresaGableman.com, New York Times bestselling paranormal romance author of the Protector series, available on Amazon.com. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube.